The problem, the problem that exists in Trinidad and Tobago, um, which is different from Jamaica, in the context of where they could have identified five or four main areas that they had the incidence of murders in Trinidad and Tobago. We are having the murders spread throughout various communities and divisions, ranging from Moroga to Caranage to San Rafael to Rio Claro to Port of Spain, you know. So if we talk about a state of emergency in relation to curbing the murders, it will affect the entire country. It have all the economic mm -hmm. Mm. considerations that must take, take place. There's a lot, a lot of variables that must be looked at in making such a decision, which may, at the end of the day, be more detrimental to the country as a whole and may just probably curb things for a few days or a few weeks. The point is, is what is required is the effort that we are making in relation to locking down indirectly the various communities that we have this situation. We um, improving our response time, improving our presence on the roadways and within the communities. You know, our aspect of getting on some additional vehicles hopefully before the end of the year, about a hundred additional vehicles before the end of the year, getting things out there and then getting the support from all the various non-government organizations and the various ministries doing work in the various communities. We feel that we can in fact overcome the situation by doing that and not necessarily a state of emergency.